Hello everyone, welcome to Piano Well, Emma Newman is here. So we all know how we usually practice. We start with sight reading, then keep playing the piece day after day, focusing our attention on some difficult fragments, bringing it to our teacher to get some comments regarding our interpretation, listening to some master pianist to get inspiration or maybe just copy their ideas, or if you haven't done all of this, you can just apply all your knowledge about, I know, correct tone production, phrasing, form, time. But we all also know that it might take sometimes months to finish the piece, and we wouldn't even be able to play it at our best. Uh, we would still have tension and stiffness in our hands, and our teacher would still give us some corrections. So, I was thinking that you might want to know some alternative ways of practicing when everything is at ease, everything is effortless, because it's supposed to be this way. Playing piano has nothing to do with striving, struggling, or suffering. It has to be fun. We just need to know the rules that will let us play brilliant and at our best. So this way of practicing that I'm about to show you just in a second will let you finish any piece that you start from scratch within one or two weeks, playing with no technical limitations and freely express yourself through playing. And I have made this short time-lapse video and the goal was to let you guys see and feel the whole process of practicing any piece by piano note system. And I personally use only this uh, method while learning any piece and those pieces that are on my tutorials I learned exactly the same way because I just love it <laughs> and it's very efficient and I hope you can see how clear and easy and organized your piano practicing can be and should be and has to be this way and it makes all the difference guys because you know when you have this like deadline when you have your exam date and you don't have to worry about will you be able to finish the piece. You just know that even if you have two weeks, you have three weeks, you have four weeks, oh my god, that's a heaven, you will be able to play any piece that you just start uh, confidently on the stage. I mean, that's all we dream about, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, before I go ahead, I just want to tell, especially for those new subscribers that I got recently, that this retraining program that teaches uh, all steps of piano system is, as always, available for free on my website artofpianotechnique.com. Um, the link is in the description to this video. And for those of you who might want to take some Skype lessons with me, uh, you're also welcome to my website where you can find results and testimonials of those students who kindly agreed to do that. And the link I will also put in the description of this video. So without further ado, let's get it started. Marking fingerings and elbow movements in the score. So I'm just trying to capture every fingering that comes to my mind in the first place. Don't overthink. And with elbow movements, I'm circling the notes that I would use to move my elbow to prepare a new position. Imagining every note in timber with movement, playing while imagining using correct wrist and elbow movements. So this is the stage where I would make sure I can imagine every single note. That's why, as you can see, I'm starting with separate hands. First right hand imagine and play, and then left hand imagine and play, and then both hands. And when I'm playing, I'm really focusing only on imagination and correct wrist and elbow movements. Playing with intonation and weight, um, I'm just gathering the weight and playing while internally singing and any articulation I would internally sing as well. Listening to harmonies, imagining notes and timbre in harmony with movement, playing with imagination and intonation. So this is the stage where I'm listening to harmonies, trying to catch and understand and feel emotional color of every harmony, so then I could imagine every note in timbre uh, violins and cellos in this emotional color of harmony and again when I'm playing 
I'm imagining every note that I'm about to play. Imagining notes in timber harmony and dynamics with movement and then playing. Imagining notes in timber harmony and dynamics and voicing with movement and playing. Uh, the same routine as usually, I would imagine first in the correct dynamics, all the little crescendo, diminuendo, make sure that I'm making all of this. And then with voicing, I would really um, try to first understand which melody to highlight, which um, note in interval and chorus to bring up. Imagining notes in sound texture with movement and then playing and from this moment on I would start using my pedal because now um, The way I would imagine sound in this water texture would match with the sound that I would hear uh, using my pedal Playing with musical speech I would play very very slow um, trying my best to feel emotional meaning of every single interval. Analyzing and marking full phrasing in the score, motives, phrases, sentences, then playing with phrasing. So this is where you need to know how to exactly find motive phrases and sentences. I do this now very quickly. And so again, I express everything through intonation, through internal theme and well -being. Playing with emotional image, one of my favorite stages, where I just, you know, go to my, <laughs> yeah, look up, look down, so get super spiritual and emotional, and just try to feel emotions through every single interval. Analyzing and marking musical form in the score, playing with phrasing, emotional image, and form. Again, it takes some skills to find out where is the beginning of the piece, culmination part, rising to climax, you know, development, but eventually um, it's really necessarily. Playing with time, this is where I would try to find and feel emotional, how to say, time in emotional image, so it uh, reflect the emotion of music. Playing, expressing every musical mean of expression through artistry. This is the last stage where I would um, prepare myself to play confidently in front of the audience. Repeating a piece by small fragments to consolidate every musical mean of expression and memorizing a piece along the way. I might spend oh, two or three days to do this, learning the piece by small fragments and bigger fragments and eventually uh, memorizing all the piece. That's it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, it was really fun and I will see you in my next video, bye bye!